We're making a game in three hours. This right here is the try jam. As you can see, we still have 20 hours left, but the rules are that we have to make the game in three hours. And I'm just gonna set up a timer. Three hours. We can do some planning if we want to, but once we start coding, that's when the timer starts. Okay, so the theme is Lifeline. Usually I'm not that bad with themes, but I don't know why. I've been thinking about this like ever since the jam started, like two days ago. But I can't think of anything that, you know, works for this theme. Except for grappling hooks, but we've already done that. We don't have to follow the theme if we don't want to. Let's go to the game jam theme generator. We're gonna go with the randomly generated theme. Game idea generator. Oh, we have to try that. Wait, real time strategy X pinball. <laughs> That's the genre. Let's leave this for another day. I think this side alone is worthy of its own video. Uh, but yeah, a game jam theme generator, right. Yeah, I could have just pressed it once, but here we are. Generation? That seems interesting. We're making a game where you have to collect resources and fight enemies, but if you die, you go on to the next generation. With the materials you got, you can upgrade the next generation, but you can't overdo that because the enemies also get stronger. Okay, how about this? The entire game just takes place in a single room. We have the idea. Let's count this down. Three, two, one, go. Let's make a player. One shade's fade, but square. All right, that's gonna be our player, except it's not gonna be our player because it's top down. Let's just go with it. We make the player object and the wall object. Obviously we can't control the player, but that's a good start. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I should have made the movement simpler. Okay, that works, that works. So this code is kind of a mess, but let's just leave it like this. And there we go. We can see that the generation number is now one. So every time the player dies, that generation number should go up and you should have the ability to upgrade your character. We should upgrade health, damage, speed, and shot speed. So the death object is gonna be created every time you die. Makes sense. It's gonna reset the room, increase the generation number, and also create five buttons that let you upgrade your character. All right, here we go. We have some buttons. That's really good. This doesn't do anything. And this, nice. Okay, so we can actually get out of the death menu. So if we could die right now, the gameplay loop would be intact. But yeah, let's finish the buttons first. And I didn't consider that. 3,800, 33.76, I don't even know. It gets expensive fast. I'm, I'm not even that fast. You have no idea how disappointed I am right now. Oh, <laughs> okay, so this works. We have the main mechanic down. Okay, 86 speed, how much is that? Oh, <laughs> how is this still playable? Like imagine if we had a bullet hell going on with enough patience, you can actually reach this speed. It just takes a million generations. Okay, so what now? We have the main mechanic done. Yeah, let's start working on the actual gameplay. So, you can shoot bullets and enemies can shoot bullets at you. I think it shouldn't be wave-based. Yeah, they should just spawn randomly. If we're quick with this, we can actually make sound effects and actual sprites. Maybe even music. Let's see. Um, <laughs> it's just shooting himself. Theoretically, this works, right? Like, you just shoot at the enemy. The bullets don't even get destroyed. You also can't stop shooting. Perfect. Now we can't shoot at all. This is so good. Wow. I swear I know how to make games. Okay. We're dead and... <laughs> what was that? The enemy just leaves. Honestly. Let's keep that in. Oh. Hey, there he is. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no. This is honestly doable. Like eventually you would die, but right now I think it's okay. I also think we should get different bullet patterns involved because right now you can just circle around the enemy and win. Oh my God, <laughs> what is that thing? 
What have I done? <laughs> this is impossible. Of course, we need a different sprite for the enemies. So let's make that. Almost. <laughs> I think this is it. Oh, yeah, this works. What the fuck? I'm not even gonna ask. Now the only thing that's left is proper sprites. We could do that. We should definitely consider adding particles. Sound effects maybe, M maybe music. Let's give it a shot. All right, so 10 minutes later, I came up with something really simple. It's only 40 seconds. Um, it's honestly not good. <laughs> I really don't think it's good. Yeah, you can definitely hear when it repeats. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm just gonna leave that in. We don't have time. We need sound effects. BFXR. That's an absolute classic. Oh yeah, right. Flash player is dead. Okay, let's just make sounds like this. Okay, so this is a bit more inconvenient than I thought, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. I mean, it works. Let's create a background sprite. I'm gonna show you a little trick. You know, you just have a small pattern, but if you then set the horizontal and vertical speed to one, you have something like this. It makes it seem so much more complete, like you put so much more effort into it, but it took like three minutes. And yeah, now we just need particles. Okay, I didn't even realize this. This game is now complete. So GameMaker recently added filters, so we might as well use some of them. That's cool. It's almost like water. I've tried it with other games and it didn't look very good, but this is cool. Okay, wait, we're gonna go crazy with this. I gotta do it, right? <laughs> what is this? It's just like a blob. Oh, that looks cool though. Let's make it a little bit darker so you can actually see the bullets and stuff. I need to try this. No, no, this was a lot better. I say we're done. Let's call it Generation Omega. I came up with it in like three seconds, but it sounds cool. So let's go with that. 10 seconds left <laughs> and time. Three hours, one game. Generation Omega. All right, three, two, one, submit. There we go. Your game has been submitted. Look at that, it's right here. That's it. We've just made a game in three hours. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, goodbye.